Hey, what's up everyone? This is Alan, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor with Simply Vegas. Today, we'll be exploring the community of Acadia Ridge by Toe Brothers in Red Point Village in Summerlin West of Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll be featuring a spec home that Toe Brothers currently has for sale. Before we dive into details, I'll go over the community information. The community of Acadia Ridge features 151 home sites and is a gated community. The HOA is $110 per month and the Summerlin West Master HOA of $55 per month for a total of $165 per month. There is a SIDS balance of $16,500 and $544 are paid semi-annually. The home site premiums at Acadia Ridge range between $10,000 to $270,000 depending on the size of the lot, the location, and the views. The build times vary from 13 to 14 months. However, if you're buying a QMI, also known as a quick move-in home, this build time can be much shorter. The lot sizes at Acadia Ridge range between 5,400 square feet up to 10,000 square feet. Nearby amenities include the Red Rock Casino, TPC Golf Course, Las Vegas Ballpark, Downtown Summerlin, Boca Park, and Tivoli Village. Before we get started with our video, please take a moment to hit that like button, subscribe button, and bell notification button. Thank you so much. Today we'll be featuring a spec home that is move-in ready. This single-story home is the Alba with a Spanish contemporary elevation. The price that you see here is the all-inclusive price. This home is fully completed and no options can be changed. It features 2,002 square feet and sits on a 6,512 square foot lot with 3 bedrooms, 2.5 bathrooms and a 2 car garage. On the left side of your home is a pedestrian gate that leads to the exterior of the community. On the exterior of your home on the left hand side you have a water bib as well as your electrical panel and your gas meter. I like this garage door color that they have selected. It is called Link Gray. With the Spanish Contemporary Elevation, you will get this beautiful stacked limestone on your exterior. An included feature at Acadia Ridge will be this parcel locker for your packages. Your door color is the same as your garage door color, which is the link gray. As we enter into your foyer, we're greeted by 10 foot ceilings. 10 foot ceilings are standard in Acadia Ridge. The flooring selected here will be a 12 by 24 porcelain tile. These tiles are done in a straight lay pattern. We also have these beautiful 5 inch baseboards. On the right side of your home, you have bedrooms 2 and 3 and bathroom 2. The carpet selected looks like a level 2 or level 3 carpet. This will be a little bit higher upgrade compared to your regular standard carpet. The hardware for your doors are brushed nickel. They have also opted for a 6 panel door which is also an upgrade. Your wall texture will be at an orange peel texture. This is bedroom 3 which measures 10.5 by 10. With a Spanish contemporary elevation, you will get 4 beautiful windows as shown here. Here's another option that they have selected which is a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. And here we have a reach-in closet with a standard shelving.
Between bedrooms 2 and 3 is bathroom 2. The cabinets selected are a flat panel cabinet which gives a modern look to your home. The cabinet hardware poles are also in a brushed nickel finish. With bathroom 2, you'll have a white quartz countertop with an undermount rectangular color sink. Your faucets are also in a brushed nickel. They also chose to upgrade the vanity mirror to go all the way to the ceiling, which is a nice touch. Here we have a standard bathtub, but they have chosen to upgrade the tile to a 12 by 24 tile. This tile is slightly weathered to give it a bit of character. They have also chosen to make the grout color lighter than the tile color. This accentuates the tile. And as always, having your tiles go all the way to the ceiling is a nice touch. The Schluter that they have chosen here is a slightly darker color. Here we have bedroom 2 which measures 14 by 10 and a half. Bedroom 2 also features a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. It also overlooks your side yard which is quite wide. The reaching closet in bedroom 2 is also quite wide. In this back home, they did choose to have an extensive electrical package. All of the bedrooms will have a CAT6 outlet. You will have two thermostats in your home. One will be in the hallway and one will be in your primary bedroom. Here we have your laundry room. This home does not come with a washer or a dryer. The lower cabinets and countertop are included. The cabinets in your laundry room will match the cabinets in your kitchen. Here we have a top mount utility sink with a faucet in chrome. You also have a small window here that will overlook your courtyard. For this model home, they did opt to have the upper cabinets installed. In this spec home, they have chose to install soft closed cabinets. Here we have your coat hanger closet and also a smart panel. And here is your powder room. They didn't choose to do any upgrades in here. We have a Kohler pedestal sink and your faucets in a brushed nickel finish. This oval vanity mirror is also standard.
This is your main living area with your kitchen, your casual dining, and your great room. Here we have the great room which measures 19 by 19. In your great room you have these beautiful 12 foot ceilings. You have also 4 can lights and a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. This is one of the electrical options that they have selected. They have put an outlet here as well as a CAT6 and an HDMI cable. They have also installed a 42 inch Cosmo fireplace. Here's a remote control for your fireplace as well as the gas knob to turn it on and off. Here's another CAT6 cable outlet. Another great feature in this home is this 12 by 8 foot multi-slide stack door. Here we have your kitchen. The style that they're going for in this home is an Asian Zen warm palette. They have opted for these beautiful upper stack cabinets with a 6 inch flat crown. This would be your refrigerator space. Soft closed cabinets. The backsplash used in the kitchen is very suitable as it matches the colors of this home. It gives it a very warm tone. For the kitchen island, they have decided to install a wrap around the island. Otherwise, you'll just have drywall facing toward your great room. The kitchen countertop selected is a quartz countertop. This looks to be a level 4 or level 5 countertop. It has a really apparent veining, so definitely a lot of movement here. What do you guys think about the countertop selection? They have also opted to have the trash and recycle bin here. Here we have a Moen Sleek single handle pull out faucet. The air gap for your dishwasher and your garbage disposal button. This is just your standard stainless steel dual basin undermount sink. A Moen garbage disposal. Here we have a kitchen aid dishwasher. It's always great to have these three racks. This upper rack is extremely useful for utensils. In this kitchen, they did opt to have the KitchenAid appliance package. This package includes your microwave, your oven, your dishwasher, your cooktop, as well as your hood.
Here we have a 5 gas burner KitchenAid cooktop. And this is your KitchenAid hood. This area here is your casual dining, which measures 12 and a half by 10. Above the casual dining, you have two can lights as well as a pre-wire for a chandelier. Also in your kitchen, they have opted to have these three pendant light pre-wires. This door leads to your primary bedroom, which measures 14 by 14. In your primary bedroom, you have four can lights, as well as a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. They have also chosen to install this CAT6 and electrical outlet. This is a great option as you can mount a TV here and not have to stream off your Wi-Fi. You can see these beautiful mountains here from your primary bedroom. And here's your secondary thermostat in your primary bedroom. Here you have a primary bathroom. Here we have a linen closet. In your primary bathroom, they have it chosen to install the vanity mirror to the ceiling. They have also chosen to install an extra outlet in the center. The countertop used here is different from bathroom 2 as well as your kitchen. This is a quartz countertop and this would be a level 6 or level 7 countertop. This countertop is definitely busier in design but definitely works. Here's your water closet. A great option that they have selected for this primary bathroom is the ultra shower with a zero threshold. This gives you a seamless transition to your shower. What do you think of this flooring that they use in this shower? Beautiful 3 8 inch glass. In the shower, they also have used the 12 by 24 tiles that have kept that consistent throughout all the flooring as well as the bathrooms. They have also chosen to install a soap niche on both sides. And here's the same color Schluter that they used in bathroom 2. For this primary shower, they have chosen a darker color grout to accentuate the tiles.
All the missing for this bathtub is the rain shower head. You have a small window here. Might want to cover this one up. And here is your walk-in closet. Standard shelving. Here with your pantry. Also here with access to your attic as well. And this door leads to your two car garage. Here's the extra paint that they have used on this home. This is the plumbing for your water softener. And here you have your Renai tankless water heater. Another great feature is that they have installed a 220 volt outlet to charge your electric car. Here is your irrigation timer and control. It seems that they have forgotten to weather strip this garage door. This is why you can see the light bleeding in. It is important to weather strip your garage door because it keeps the heat out as well as bugs. Here is your main water shutoff and the shutoff to your irrigation. And this panel is for your fire sprinklers. Let's head back inside and to your backyard. These multi-panel stack doors are great for this in and out living space. This covered patio measures 19 and a half by 10. Also, this covered patio is 12 foot high. We have a covered outlet here. This white circle is a cap for an electrical outlet. This would be best for a floodlight. And that rectangular silver cap that you see here is a pre-wire for a security camera. Under your covered patio, you also have a pre-wire for a ceiling fan and two can lights. This backyard is definitely the selling point of this home. It measures 62 feet wide and 31 foot deep. Definitely a pool size yard as well as room for more. Check out the beautiful mountain views of Red Rock. This side yard is unusually large as well. It measures 9 foot wide. We have another pre-wire for a security camera here.
you have your HC condenser unit. Sorry about the trash in the backyard. These foam boards actually flew over from the home next door on a windy day. Look at the size of this yard. Here you have a water bib as well as a gas tub. And this circular white cap is a pre-wire for a floodlight. If you install a raised platform deck in your backyard, you'll have strip views from here. You'll get partial views of the strip. This concludes our home tour of a spec home at Acadia Ridge. This home is fully completed and moving ready. If you are interested, have any questions, or like my real estate assistance in buying or selling a home in Las Vegas or Henderson, please don't hesitate to give me a call, text, or email. Thank you so much guys for watching to the very end, and I'll see you in the next video.